Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. In this video, we're gonna show you the top five handheld diagnostic scan tools for BMW vehicles in 2024 and 2025. We'll show you the cheapest through to the most expensive and what kind, explain what kind of features and functions each of these tools has. I'll put links to all of these kits in the description as well, just to make it a little bit easier for you to find them. You do need to be aware though that there are fakes, there are clones on the market and they can damage your vehicle. So by using the links below, it will take it to the official and genuine products. And at the end of the video, I'll explain to you, I'll recommend which of these tools I would personally buy if it was my personal money on my personal BMW, given what I know about these tools and having the opportunity to use them over the last few months. So, uh, I'll also show you a really, really high-end tool that kind of mimics the dealer level and specialist functions. Um, it's kind of like a bonus tool at the end of the video if you know you want the absolute best tool for, and money isn't an object, okay? And if by the end of the video you're still unsure about which of these tools to go for, I'll pop an email address in the description, send us your vehicle information and we can recommend a tool for you and your specific needs, okay? So we're gonna start at this end. This is the iCast of BMM version 1.0. 0 tool it is the cheapest tool on the table but that doesn't necessarily mean it's a bad tool or it, it lacks functions or features um, this tool will cover a lot of features within the BMW so uh, function should I say so it'll, it'll diagnose things like check engine lights uh, ABS airbag warning lights you've got traction warning lights if you've got like a suspension fault a transmission fault uh, and other systems like power steering air suspensions central locking HVAC systems it covers a huge range of systems within your BMW, okay? Um, this does have what we call one, well, you'll hear me talking about service functions through all of these tools, but this tool gives you the ability to have one service function on board, okay? And that service function is the oil service reset function, okay? So if you need to do, do the oil maintenance resets, um, then this tool will allow you to do that, okay? Uh, so that's the iCOS of BMM version 1.0 tool. We then move on to the iCOS of BMM version 2.2. Now this tool will do everything that this tool will do. Uh, this one is a little bit more expensive, but it does have additional features that this one doesn't have. Okay, so we talk about service functions for this tool where this only has one service function, um, which is the oil service reset. This tool also has um, additional service functions like DPF regeneration, electronic park and brake reset and calibration, electronic throttle calibration, steering angle sensor calibration, new battery registration, injector coding, and ABS brake bleeding. It's very important for me to point out though that it does really depend on your specific vehicle. Okay, so what we'd recommend is sending the VIN number to the email address in the description below. We can check for you to make sure that if you wanted to use the tool for one of those specific functions, we can check to make sure that it does work on your specific vehicle okay so that's the bmm version 2.0 tool okay and that has been a good sell the, the, in fact of all being good sellers that's why they're on this table um, but we then move on to the next advanced tool this is the bmm version 3.0 so this tool will go over and above everything that these tools will do uh, but this has additional service functions okay so the uh, and not only that it has better hardware so it has better software on it which means it can pretty much um, sort of deal with up, like kind of the latest vehicles not the very very latest maybe uh, so let's say for example we're in 2024 early 2024 now I would say you'd probably be able to diagnose sort of late 22 um, to mid 23 vehicles okay 2023 uh, but this has additional service functions so this can actually do actuation tests, component testing. So it's a bi-directional scan tool, so it allows you to test like specific components. Uh, suspension calibration, transmission adaptions, air conditioning reset, engine adaptions, and other some of the adaptions as well. Um, but it obviously, it also gives you the ability to diagnose all of your main systems, like the engines, airbags, ABS, transmission, power steering, etc. Okay, so that's the version 3.0 tool. One of the important features of this tool is that it can also read the genuine mileage from the ECU of the vehicle. So it'll, it'll give you the opportunity uh, to check certain vehicles, and when I say certain vehicles, it's generally from so, say, 2014 onwards vehicles, uh, allow you to read the mileage from the ECU. So if somebody's changed the mileage on the vehicle, they'll generally change it on the speedo, the, the instrument cluster, 
Well, this keeps a log, uh, the, the ECU keeps a log of the mileage and this tool allows you to read the mileage from that ECU, okay? So that's one of the, uh, the standout features of this tool actually. But obviously it packs a punch in a lot of other areas of the vehicle as well. So that's the version 3.0 tool. We then move on to the iCarsoft CR Pro Kit. This tool will allow you to diagnose and reset systems in a wide range of vehicles. So let's say, yes, you've got a BMW, but you also have an Audi, a Mercedes, a Porsche, a Land Rover, a Ford, uh, whatever it may be, this tool will cater for a wide range of vehicles, okay? And that's why this one has been a, a really, really good seller over the past couple of years. The service functions on this tool, so it, uh, first of all, it'll allow you to diagnose all of the main systems like your engines, airbags, ABS, transmission, etc. Uh, but for the service functions, it matches the service functionality of the version 2.0 tool, okay? So the same applies really, whereby we would ask you to send the VIN number to the, uh, the email address below, and we can check that for you, just to double check that it is gonna do a specific service function, like a DPF regeneration on your specific vehicle, okay? So that's the CR Pro Kit. We then come to this tool here, which is the CR Max Kit. Uh, it's got a low battery on there, actually. Uh, this is the best tool on the tail, without doubt, okay? Uh, this tool can do everything that all of these tools can do combined into one powerful tablet-based tool. It's a touch screen, as you can see. It has a built-in battery. It's fast, it's intuitive, and this is the tool that is probably, so it matches the service functionality of this tool here, the version 3.0, so it gives you the best service functionality, it gives you the best vehicle coverage and the best system coverage as well. It is the most expensive on the table, but it's not bank-breakingly expensive, okay? Um, it's just a bit more, because you're getting such a huge uh, range and it's such a huge uh, scope to diagnose a wide range of vehicles. Um, and I'd say this is probably aimed at like, you know, families who have a wide range of vehicles, um, enthusiasts who have a few different vehicles and they wanna, they wanna make sure they can look after those. Um, and also even small garages and workshops who aren't necessarily sure about which vehicle they'll be getting in on a day-to-day -day basis. So they wanna have a tool which can pretty much make sure it caters for whatever they have coming in. Um, so yeah, so that's the iCarsoft CR Max kit. As I say, it's the best tool on the table, hands down. But I said at the start of the video that I would give you my personal recommendation on which tool I think uh, I would buy if it was my personal money on my personal BMW. Uh, and there are two tools really. It all really depends on your specific circumstances, but the two tools I would go for, the first one being the BMM version 3.0 tool. Um, simply put, it has an absolutely staggering amount of software and functionality and coverage within this specific tool for the price you pay for the tool. Um, you only pay a little bit more than these tools to get a, a lot more coverage and a lot more functionality. So that's the Vision 3.0 tool. Uh, and that covers, as I say, up to pretty much recent vehicles like all your G-Series models as well, um, and your E's and your F's as well, okay? Um, so that's the version three, and the other tool would be the CR Max kit. Um, I c probably can't stress enough how much uh, bang for buck this tool is, or how, much, how good value for money this tool is, given the vehicle coverage, the system coverage, the service functionality, and the general ease of use of the tool. Um, it's an altogether super fast, intuitive, uh, well-designed, well-thought-out product, um, and, and honestly, it would definitely be one of these tools. It all really depends though on your budget uh, and your specific needs. If you've only got a BMW to worry about and you're not bothered about other vehicles, then definitely this one. But if you've got other makes and models, then this one. Having said that, if you've got like an older BMW or something, then all you really wanna do is diagnose a check engine light or an airbag light, try and turn it off and maybe you're thinking about selling the vehicle, then you, you need not look past the BMM version 1.0. You know, it's all, it's all down to what you're looking to get out of the tool. One extra thing with the BMM version 1.0 tool is that there is a, an adapter that you can buy for, is it, it's either 21 pin or 20 pin vehicles. I think it's 20 pin vehicles that have the, the round connector, the older vehicles. Uh, there was a connect, there's a connector that we'll, uh, we'll link to as well um, that you can buy so that opens up this tool to older BMWs from around about 1996 
through to 2000, 2001 ish when they switched over to the rectangular uh, 16 pin port. Okay, uh, but I will pop the links to all of these kits in the description below this video. And if you're still not sure, then of course, please do email us. I'll put the email address in the description below and that will uh, allow you to come through to us and we can give you a recommendation of which tool will be best for your specific needs and circumstances. I did, um, I did also mention a bonus tool at the start of the video. This is the iCarsoft CR Ultra kit. This is a super high-end tool that kind of matches the dealer and the, the specialist uh, tools. So it's kind of like the, the, the top-end tool. Um, it, uh, the reason I put this in here is just in case there was people out there who really, really wanted the ultimate high-end tool and budget and price is not an issue. It retails at about 1,500 pounds. So it is probably over and above the scope and over above the price range of most DIYers. But I just wanted to put that in there just in case there are some guys out there who do absolutely want the best tool available. But for most DIYers, I think probably what's on the table is gonna be more than sufficient. Guys, I hope you've enjoyed this video. I hope it's helped you in any way. Um, thanks for watching and I hope this helps.